Welcome back. This is a small demonstration on how to use custom preview parameters. I have already a 3D shape in Rhino. Let me open my uh, grasshopper. First, let's drag and drop a geometry parameter. Let me zoom in. Let us change the name. Select surface. So we select the surface. Now Grasshopper can use that surface. Let me hide for a moment the original surface in Rhino. Okay. Now Let's drag and drop a value list parameter. Right click on it, edit. Let's delete all those options. And we're going to play with three colors. So color number one will have an index of zero color number 2 index 1 and color number 3 index 2. You can change the color for let's say blue, red and green. So now we set up those three values. We can even change the name set it to like please select the color or set the color etc. So now we have the second parameter. There you go blue, red, green. Perfect. Now we drag and drop the color swatch. We need three of those. So get two more the last one right click on it and this is where you can change the color let's set this one to red let me drag a little bit higher let me back so that we can get a nice green and the last one would be let's say a nice blue there so now we have red green and blue so we need one of the best components that I use all the time the screen filter so notice that by default it comes with only two entries. Let's add one more. Perfect. Now we have zero, one and two. So we connect our value list to G. Let's connect the three colors to zero, one and two. Perfect. Let me change that red just a little bit. Perfect. Right there. We are almost through. So now I need to get a preview. Let me connect this to G and now let me connect this one to S. Let's check red. I know the colors are in disorder. We, we can fix that later but take a look. Take a look at the um, 
resolution. The resolution is really bad. Well, we can fix this. We can go to the um, mesh components, drag and drop, and take a look at the settings. Beautiful and slow and ugly and fast. Let's get the second one. Ugly and fast. That might do all of the time for us. So we can connect the surface to the mesh and now our color preview to the new mesh. Make sure you turn off the preview. Okay, turn it off. And now let's check. Oh, beautiful. The mesh is just gorgeous. Now we can arrange the, just a little bit so that it look much better. Red, there, there, perfect. I hope you like it and I hope you use it all the time so that we stop seeing all those red and green colors. They are not beautiful, believe me. This is much better. Thank you.